Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the uses you can put a 3D pen to. In particular, uh, repair of household items. So, people who have watched my channel for a while will be familiar with me using 3D pens to weld 3D printed parts together. In this video, uh, this is a floor tool from a vacuum cleaner and it literally started falling apart. So it's not uncommon for parts like this, particularly in this day and age, to literally fall apart as parts wear out. So in the case of this one, uh, if I bring this up, you can see uh, there are little risers of plastic and they've got a, like a little knob on the end internally which are designed to catch on the grooves cut into this shaft and the idea is it sits in there and then it holds on there but after much use it wears and can fall out and that's exactly what's happened here in this case this particular arm here is broken off and been lost probably sucked up by the vacuum cleaner and these ones are just showing excessive amounts of wear so what we're going to do is literally plastic weld that one, this shaft into there so that it stays put now this one is in a little bit better condition but it too is suffering significant wear so we may add a little bit of plastic weld around that while this is a, a temporary repair it will give us a little bit more time the rest of the vacuum cleaner is working but it is starting to wear out this will just extend the life a little bit longer before we have to throw away another disposable item i'm using uh, my standard 3d pen i have got another one and i will link the review for my unboxings of the two this is my favored unit Uh, the speed control on this one is this slider here and I can adjust that while it's running whereas the other one is all digital electronic and you can only adjust the speed while it's stopped not a very smart thing to do so once I get all this assembled we should have a functioning floor tool again although there is significant wear in it I'm running the 3d pen at 200 degrees C for the purposes of this type of work. I use the same temperature when I'm uh, welding 3D printed parts together. So in this case we've got that missing part we're going to build that up first. It's probably not the best filament to be using for this demonstration but it is what I've got loaded in it. I have got some white filament and that would be easier to see on the camera. I've had this filament for a little while and so it is getting brittle it hasn't been stored properly so I am expecting it to bubble and pop a little bit that's better it's feeding in there Definitely got a lot of moisture in that filament. Okay, so...
Okay, so that's working. Now it's going to be a little harder to do this side, but we will endeavour to do this anyway. So, one nice, simple, easy repair. And we've now made a part that was broken reusable, at least for the short term. So, if you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe ring that notification bell it's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing if you'd like to help the channel further you can always join my patreons vips go lucky and lorenz burger or my bill the patreon el morales 45 in helping to support the channel on patreon i've also got a discord server if you have any questions it is a growing community so come come along and join it. The link for that will be in the description as well. And we'll see you in the next video.